Jason said it was so funny. So when we first got on, it was completely empty and there was nobody in there. And then as we were driving, it filled up. And so it was ultimately full of people. And Kaysen goes, now it's a real jeepney. <laughs> Man, look, look, look. Hello, Familia. Welcome back to LLVT. I have the greatest, biggest smile on my face right now because we are here today at Las Casas Filipinas de Acuzar. I think I got that right. Um, and we're just going to... We're going to take a little vacation. We're having a little bit of a break before friends and family start arriving for the holidays. And I literally, so busy. It's going to be I'm, so, busy I'm so excited. I Hi. cannot wait to check Hi. this place out. Come and join us. Located by Bagak Bay in Bataan, Las Casas Filipinas de Acusar is a marvelous historic resort. It is a unique destination that offers visitors a chance to experience the Philippines' rich history and culture. Home to almost 40 original Spanish-Filipino colonial structures, this historic treasure is the brainchild of Jose Acuzar, who collects, transplants, and restores the heritage of the Philippines. Before we dive into the highlights of this place, let's eat. Those external factors that you gotta learn to work with. There is a very loud AC right behind Brian right now. Um, so hopefully our microphone is doing a great job and filtering out that background noise and focusing only on me. Um, food, right now we just got our appetizers. This is a uh, ensalada uh, talong. So there is a grilled eggplant and salted egg in there. You guys know I'm not a salted egg kind of person, so I don't know that I'll be eating that. Um, but I did get me some Kilo in, and I can't wait to dig into that. Super duper impressed. This food is really, really good. Uh, we ordered sort of a variety of dishes. So the boys, I ordered some chicken in a cell. We got some pinak bet. Uh, of course, we have the um, eggplant and the Kilo in garlic rice it's all really really good perfectly flavored it's just delicious so i'll start this off by saying i love my son very 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 much but i suspect we are entering adolescent phase where we don't like our parents and we complain about everything that we do we're gonna work on it after lunch we ran into an ice cream vendor and decided to grab some dessert. While standing there, enjoying our ice cream, we found some interesting looking people dressed in traditional clothing. This is one of the reasons why you should visit this place. Dr. Cerizal is the Philippine national hero. To learn the colorful history of the Philippines and the significant people who contributed to the country's freedom and independence. Good morning. Hello, good morning, Kuya. I'm Andres Bonifacio. <gasps> we fight for the Philippines. We fight, we fight Spanish. Uh -huh. Spaniards. Yes. This historic resort, as mentioned, is home to a collection of Spanish Filipino colonial houses that have been carefully restored to their former glory. These houses were originally built in the 18th and 19th centuries. each of which were painstakingly brought to the resort from the various provinces in which they originated. Here, you can learn about the history of each house and how it was used in the past. I feel like I've gone back in time. It's really, really cool to see all of the stuff outside and then when you come into a room like this, a lot of the things are kept very true to, I guess, their um, how it was when it was first like built or put together. So it's all that very old Spanish colonial style uh, furniture and decoration and things like that. So it kind of feels like I'm on a ride at Disneyland and I'm living in the ride, which is sort of what every kid ever wants to do. Now, just a side note here. This is a three-star rated resort and the rooms reflected just that. It's been a long day traveling from Manila to Bataan. 
The feeling of being back in time permeates throughout the resort. The dining experience is no exception. What's Everything your favorite? Everything was good. But uh, I love the Labohem one. Oh, we so almost we got that. Yeah. Ah, okay, maybe next time. It's all your dreams. Thin crust, it's crispy. This is fantastic. You can really taste the cheese, but that crunch, that crunch, that crunch because of the crust. I... I will point out that none of my boys like to eat the crust on their pizza, including my husband, because it's just too much bread for them. No, I sometimes. You sometimes. When the crust is like this, you will eat it. You're gonna focus on me because you know I like my food hot. Sorry. I'm invoking the music right now. Christmas song is playing, and it said, oh, here are the angels' voices, right as I took a bite. That's really good spaghetti. It's delicious. Mm. That is like really good mixture and balance between the sweet and savory. Unlike Wendy's spaghetti, which is just full on meat. But this one is really good. We're feeling full after this delicious meal. But we can't wrap up this wonderful night without eating some dessert. That's a... <laughs> Hallelujah is right. That's a beautiful piece of cheesecake. Put the masks on your children first. Technically, no. You're supposed to take care of mommy first. Wait. Mm. Here's my review. Super rich. Super thick, super delicious. I'm stuffed. I'm sleepy. It's time to get some rest. I am right here outside of Casa Binyan La Laguna. This is the area. Yes, good morning. Where we meet up to do our morning balsa ride with breakfast. So we are gonna have breakfast on the balsa boat that goes all around. Um, and the same ride sort of that we did last night, but I'm guessing, hoping it'll be a little bit different because we're gonna be eating breakfast while we're doing it. I um, wanted to share that there's cobblestone streets all throughout this resort. So basically almost all the walkways that they have here are going to be the cobblestone roads which is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful to wear like some nice wedges um sort of like high heel type shoes yesterday and it's very difficult to walk in um to walk on a cobblestone street in high heels i'm sure this breakfast is going to be awesome but i've worked up quite an appetite already walking all over the place trying to find where we need to go breakfast is here Pandesal, potato, pizza. So I asked Brian to serve me some coffee right now. And he grabbed one of these to give me coffee. And I had to point out to him that he just gave me a bowl full of coffee and not a coffee cup. Yeah. He's talking to relatives. You can hear him. in Manila, like Chinatown. Of what it used to look like. I put brown chicken in my watermelon juice, guys. <laughs> Some of the activities and amenities and things you might get to do here. Um, I'll kind of start with the things that we've already done. So we did the balsa ride last night, which was actually included in our stay. Um, but if you don't book a package that has that included, you do pay extra for it. And then we did the balsa breakfast this morning which was absolutely amazing to be able to ride around, have breakfast. It was like the perfect way to start our day. I was a little bit cranky, to be honest, this morning. And so it was nice to get out there and sort of just take a good deep breath of fresh air, have my coffee and really soak in and enjoy that moment with my family 
those are the moments that we're reminded that we're never going to get back again. So we always, crankiness aside, and enjoy ourselves. We just booked the Hotel de Oriente viewing, so we're about to go set off to do that. We're having a great time. It is definitely something to soak in and enjoy. We couldn't resist the urge to eat some delicious taho, a staple snack in the Philippines made from fresh silken tofu, brown sugar syrup, and tapioca pearls. All right, so Brian just took the boys back to the room so they could use the restroom before we head into the Hotel de Oriente. I am standing out here and just staring at the West Philippine Sea. Um, I just saw some fish jumping out of the water and the wind is blowing. It's just beautiful. It, moments like these are just amazing. I have almost complete and total peace and quiet. It's just a minute to myself. And that's not something you get very often when you're traveling essentially full-time with your family, with your husband and your children or your spouse and your kids. Um, it's rare that you get these moments by yourself, these moments alone. I do get to go to the gym and I do get to do, you know, self-care here and there, but I'm never really alone and just taking a good deep breath. And so that's exactly what I'm doing right now in this moment and I am absolutely in peace. So we are here inside the Hotel de Oriente. Um, you pay 200 pesos per head for this tour for kids. I don't remember what the age is, but I know Rowan, he's seven years old. It was 100 pesos for him. And it's a self-guided tour of the Hotel de Oriente. And these staircases are magnificent. Check them out. Another reason to visit this resort is to come to appreciate the craftsmanship of the very detail-oriented artists that created these structures and designs. You simply do not see this kind of work these days. The craftsmanship and woodworking displayed throughout this part of the property is beyond stunning. As we walk through the Hotel de Oriente, I can almost feel the grandiosity that must have taken place here during its heyday. What did you just say? Can we live here? Can we live here? They even have their own theater. <laughs> Daddy said I could sit in the front. My chariot is pink. If you do plan on visiting here, I highly recommend renting a golf cart. Unless, of course, you would rather walk around the resort. But keep in mind that this place does span over 40 hectares. Our boys have shorter legs, so we opted for the more practical route. Oh, this is bumpy. Stay on the path. To infinity and beyond. No, we got a golf cart, and Kason wants to drive like we're in Top Gear. Jeremy no Kason. No the reality of traveling with family, with kids. I am taking in this beautiful environment. There's a horse and carriage. I'm about to walk by. Hello, Kaya. And so it goes from mediating an argument between the kids over who gets to hold the bottle of Gatorade to things like that. It's just, I don't know, it's a weird thing that happens. We're driving around in this golf cart and I'm having a blast. The kids are having fun. They keep trying to get me to drive faster, but I gotta follow the rules. My husband's back there <laughs> saying oi every time I go over He's something also too bumpy. <laughs> Right now, I want to get off of this golf cart and actually walk through, and then there's some tiendecitas. Uh, maybe go through and look at some souvenirs. We are at a Spanish restaurant in some authentic Spanish food. Ooh, our food just got here. We just ordered paella 
paella. <laughs> um, there's been a constant conversation in between Brian and I about the pronunciation of the double L and I understand in Tagalog it is pronounced differently but for me um, coming from a Mexican American Spanish background I will always pronounce it in, in that aspect so I think it's been sort of harder for me to say something like paella versus paella. I'm just gonna go with the rice first. Mm, very Spanish flavors. I can taste that tomato. There's something in that broth, maybe like a cumin, possibly some saffron actually in there that kind of gives it that yellowish color. It's really, really good. I like the rice. We'll see how the rest of it tastes. I don't know how you're gonna explain it, but if you want to, drop it in the comments down below. How do you pronounce that double L? That, I have no idea what this is. It's beef salpicao. Salpicao. Oh. I soaked up the sauce in there. And it, a rich, juicy texture. Very good. I like the savoriness from it. It's not like normal beef or that. It's like a richer, juicier version of roast beef. It's really good. It's like a tomato-based soup kind of thing. This is Cafe Del Rio and in our opinion, the best restaurant on site with the best views. The restaurant specializes in tapas, but they also serve other meat and seafood dishes here. I hope this hair looks okay in pictures. We got maybe like halfway through some photos because that is one of the most amazing things about this place is that like it's so it's a photographer's paradise. I really wanted to come here for Brian to take pictures. Um, it's like a second hobby of his, aside from the vlogging, editing. He loves to take photos. And so I wanted to make sure we brought him here so he could get like just a huge number of photos for his portfolio and to put on his Instagram page, to put on our <laughs> Instagram pages. Um, so hopefully you'll see some of those photos on those pages if you go visit any of our social media. Also, the sunset here is ridiculous. It's like absolutely amazing. So sunsets over the ocean are just something completely in a league of their own. The sun is setting right now on the beach and it looks absolutely incredible. So I dropped Brian off at the beach. He's going to go grab the drone and Hopefully, we're gonna share some epic drone footage for you right here. Good morning. It is our last morning here. Um, we got up and went and grabbed breakfast pretty early and I came back to the room to shower and basically like repack up all of our things in preparation for us to check out. Check out time I believe is noon um, and it's about 9 a.m. right now. So we do have a little bit of time to just hang out and enjoy. Um, the grounds here at Las Casas a little bit more. I see the boys right across over here near the beach and I believe Brian's not far away taking photos. So let's go join him. Oh, there he is, my handsome prince. Hey, handsome. Most days they're fighting. But then we have the days like this where they're sitting down together, sharing a cup of tajo and it just warms my heart. Good? I basically, all I'm getting is tofu. Tofu? Yeah. You need the protein. Mm -hmm. That's where we stayed in this building with the green pillars straight ahead. I could actually hear the waves crashing on the beach um, while we were laying in bed. So there were a few times that I woke up throughout the night and I could actually hear the wave. I love to be able to hear that sound, the real one. I know that you can get the wave sound machines or have, you know, a Google Voice or an Alexa do it for you, but I like the real sound of the waves on the beach. Nothing beats it. 
also, this is one of the first places where I've actually seen dark sand. If anybody knows where the black sand comes from, please let me know in the comments down below. All right, that's it for us here at Las Casas Filipinas de Acusar. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the reasons why you should definitely put this on your list of places to see if you're ever coming to the Philippines. Salamat, and you got until next time. Before we go, did you notice those anomalies in the video where the feed would turn completely black? What did you think those were? We've been using this camera for well over a year now, and glitches like this have never happened. Please follow. <laughs> Thank you. Please follow and hit the notification bell. A foggy lens video. This is what happens when you live in a humid environment. Can you wait, Rowan? Are you starving? Yes. Just wait for all the food, bro. No, no. Stop it. It says no. <laughs> are we in focus? There we are, Robo. Hello. How was your chicken, bro? Oh, gosh. I'm cold. Oh! oh. <laughs> no, don't stab it. No, you don't stop it to see if there's juice, just carry it. <laughs> oh jeez, Rowan. Mom, blue base. Mom, you can't get over this, can you? Mama, oh. Mommy's looking for a beverage. Ooh, what can I have? Water. Don't. Disgusting. Oh man, Dad needs to get drunk with this. How'd you get up there? I don't see the stairs. Only to be taken as a POW, and he was part of the Bataan death march. He survived. 